What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again early in the morning with some Overlord. Very, very excited to finish out season four. Now, some of you guys are aware, some of you guys are not, but I need to let all of you guys know. The rule on the channel is with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, um, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for free for everyone. So make sure you guys click the link in the top of the description. Go enjoy that free full length. Come back here for the review when you're done. And if you guys do enjoy that format, consider checking out that Patreon. Great benefits, especially with October right around the corner. I'm not going to waste too much more time. Just don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, all that jazz. I say we hop right on into it. I don't even know the title of this last episode. It is The Witch of the Fallen Falling Kingdom. Makes me think it's about Renner. I don't know. I'm very curious. I mean, he's pretty much talking as if the kingdom's gonna fall. He's gonna pass these on to Ainz. He's gonna present himself in their defeat, you know? Oh, I'm trying to get them out of here? That's quite the offer from a king. For the purposes of furthering their bloodline, making sure the lineage doesn't end right here, you know? Wow, and we know how much he like has a crush on or how much he loves Renner, so that's crazy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, these men are willing to lay their lives on the... You... I would be just dead struck silent like them. Oh my god. Aura does not care. Okay. So we're all, we are hiding the crown and the other items in the warehouse. These are the items and the lineage passed down from the royal family. The things that represent the king. Shouts out Aura and Mare, the two opposites, of, two sides of the same coin, you know. Wanting to save people, but also just causing so much death. I wonder what Renner did with the king. Kokaitis and the squad have already made it here. I mean, we know that because of the frozen castle. Last human. Oh, that means one of them's dead. It's either the king who made himself presentable, or Renner with the king's... Yeah, oh, oh, oh. She got the fake tears going on. Them's the crocodile's tears climb. Don't listen to him. No. Immediately draws. I, I mean, I respect it. Don't get me wrong, but goddamn. Was that a bad play? That's a huge honor, you know. Especially to someone who's challenging him like Climb. And we've wanted that sword for a little bit. Sword is so swaggy too. Little does Climb know. I'm I'm praying he doesn't die right here. He threw the sword. That's quite the strategy. <laughs> okay. If he was the main character of this anime, absolutely. <laughs> That's how it would go down. But this is reality. <laughs> That's so funny. That's generally Ainz's... Yeah, Ainz's methods when it comes to, to... Thinking about if he's gonna save people. Are they valuable? Do they have any special powers? But nope, he has none. Ooh. Man, this is getting deep and philosophical on us. Oh. That's true. There ain't no unequality when it comes to death. Rich, poor, happy, sad. I am death itself. Oh my god. In a certain perspective, yeah, what he's saying completely doesn't make any sense. But from a certain perspective, it does. So I get it. I was about to say, is he going to give the sword back to him? the only chance he has yeah albedo's like little do you know climb little do you know 
I know. Please tell him, though. I want him to know. I just, ah, uh, I wanted him to know so bad. Shouts out to Ions, though. Oh, oh, oh! You can tell Ions definitely is just taking the, taking the lead when it comes to that. Is this gonna actually give us a fighting shot? Oh, you can tell he's already. It was. It was a valiant effort. Oh. His entire sword fighting is done now. <laughs> he feels proud of that fact. He was able to draw out his mat. That's Ayn's specialty when it comes to magic. Did he already squeeze it? See, we're still getting this from from Climb's POV. So he grasps his heart, but he's not dead yet. He just used it to make him go unconscious, or... Did he kill him and then resurrect him, or what is the play here? The Witch of the Fallen Kingdom. Look at the outfit change. She's a demon? Like, those wings are not a part of her fucking fit from Spencer's? That's real? She switched to being a demon? That's actually kind of badass. I, I normally am scared and don't fuck with Renner, but Demon Renner? Kinda might have to fuck with. How much time has gone by if she's already demonified? If Climb says yes... I don't know how to feel, if I'm being honest with you. How much time we have left? I need like, seven more episodes yet. Oh, it was Resurrection. He did indeed die. Now the question lies with you, Climb. Are you just like Renner? No hesitation? So Climb, upon being asked by Renner, has taken the pledge. He's gonna pledge his allegiance to Ainz and become a demon. I don't know what... That's a lot of work done by her. Yeah. She is, she's been very clutch this season for the Nazarite. Diligently. Oh, you know she will. This is not what I was expecting to happen to Renner when I first met her at all. Not at all. Which would be what? Another Seed of the Fallen? Is that similar to the first thing we had? What the? I, I mean, she said another Seed of the Fallen, so it has to be. You know. I'm nearly selling out a single kingdom. Yeah, your kingdom. Oh, nothing would bring her more bliss, and that's so scary to me. Oh, they're about to have some. Is he? Isn't he like still on deathbed? Like I know he got resurrected, but he's still injured and about. To... What is this? A musical now? He's about to sing while she violently makes love to him for the first time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the new black look, the long blonde hair, the black. Every, I love black personally. You know, she looked real good, but I'm just like, her personality is way too creepy for me. Yeah, this is just like a, a montage of uh, Nazarick and other POVs during all this collaborating. Back in the day, which is just kind of cool to see, you know, even Yao de Balth and the whole plan on uh, the Rhea size, all they all had a, they all had a plan not to kill Renner no matter what. Climb, oh cl yeah, Renner, yeah, without Climb, so Climb was the one requested not to die. What is this fucking guy, Philip? Right. Quite the guest. <laughs> yeah, the names of your colla or the heads, not the names, the heads of your collaborators and other lords. Wow. Wow. Not only the, his dad, everyone. Oh. 
talk about an ending for Philip. God damn, Albedo, that's dark. That's a uh, Marquise Raven. Yeah, it came back to his fucking entire kingdom, just obliterated. Look at the staff and the crown sitting on top of the stone throne. The kingdom has thus completely fallen for all eternity. This was quite the way season four ended, though. Like, not to say it was set up, but it does feel like set up for for later on, you know? And thus, and the end begins, see? Like, in the end, as in, like, everything else in the future. I need season five, like, tomorrow. I'm not joking. So overall, fantastic season. When I say it felt like a setup season, I don't say that in a bad way at all. Like, it very much feels like a My Hero season five to me, which is My Hero season five has fantastic moments and fantastic development for characters and progression for their arcs, their personal selves, their fighting capabilities, this, that, and the other. But it is a huge setup uh, season for season six, which is, I know I haven't read My Heroes, so I don't know that particular, but everyone's been telling me that. And this feels the same with setting up certain members like Saw, Mr. Azuth, the Blue Roses, having all this come down fully at the end, like the literally the last moment being the victor of over this claimed kingdom, you know? And we're going to feel the ripple effects of this next season. We're going to see the aftermath of Renner and Climb next season. So, like, we still have, like I said, Saw, Mr. Zuth, the Blue Roses. We still have um, the slain secret theocracy warriors that we need. Like, there's still a lot of players at stake right now. And this was all purely, a te I still can't believe we did this. Like, building relationships and working with and against this kingdom since season one and they're all dead renner's a demon now she sold out her family and her kingdom like i like the way she said it though i was able to get a life of eternity power and a wish and whatever the seeds of the fallen are all for selling out a single kingdom like yeah when you put it like that i get that but also for selling out a single kingdom a uh, kingdom so it's like perspective you know it all changes um overall great season though i'm really enjoyed the animation especially that uh saw armor platinum warrior armor uh Ainz, pandora's actor fight it was really good but, you know albedo and mr azuth as well um great having the dwarves in the rune crafting i want to see that's one thing that i want to see more of over like uh like compared to reincarnated as a slime like slime the characters that we bring in that are helping us um we are constantly seeing and getting updates from them but i, I would like to see the nazarick and the, the kind of the updates a little more with this i know they don't have a lot of time because of the 13 episode cores but coco doll we never got to see him out of his baptism hilma said you know like i just i want to see some of the, the background nazarick things i really do it's a very interesting place with a lot of world building and i'm very curious Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what your thoughts of the season were. Uh, don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut version of this. This Now that this is ending, October is right around the corner, so it's going to be mad stuff over there. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.